Welcome to another training session of Sematic Manager. In this session, we will see how we can make arrays in our data blocks and how we can use these arrays in our programming. So let's start today's session. Uh, first of all, we have to create a data block. So we will insert a new object, which will be our data block. And we will give it a name. We can give this data block a name. I have given it test db. Just press it okay. And now we will open our data block. So first of all we will give a name to our array. So we can write here as data tray. Okay. As you can see that right now it is showing a data type as integer because we have to tell our data block that this data array will be our array its type will be array so, so we will go to the complex types and select the array as you can see that right now it is showing two brackets okay in these brackets we have to mention the length of the array this means that we have to mention how many elements we are going to create in the inside this array so we can write from one dot dot five so what does this mean this means that our elements are starting from one and they are ending at five so this means that this array will be going to have five elements in it and also it is not necessary to start it from zero or one we can start it from like three and it will end at 8 so this means that so this means that this array will be having elements starting from 3 to 8 so total will be 6 okay now we will click here we can give any comment here like Okay. As I press the enter, as you can see that another box appears right under the array. So here we have to mention the data type for the elements which we have created inside this relay. So to select our data type, we will go to elementary types and these are the data types which you can select from these data types and today we will select integer. As we all know that uh, each integer consists of two data bytes so that's why it is showing here the length of this integer so this integer will consist of two bytes and our array is consists of six elements so six into two equals to twelve so the length of this array is equals to twelve bytes okay now to expand this array we will go here view and go to the data view as you now it has expanded our array and it is showing all the elements inside this array so it is starting from three and ending at eight and total will be eight elements and here are the addresses for these arrays and the addresses are starting from zero and ending at ten So we will save this array and uh, right now there are no values inside this. Now we will see how we can use these elements in our program or how we can access these elements inside this array. So we will go to the ob1. Let me arrange my view. So now our actual values are right now zero. So we will try to modify these values. For this, we will use a bit to trigger. And we'll use two move commands. Okay. Move. Okay. 
Now we will move a value inside the first element of this array, which is data array three. So we can move like. Now we have to write the address of this data array three element. So to write this one, you remember that the name of the DB one is test DB. So we will write here test. Okay. Now it has selected our test DB, and here are our. Here are our elements, so we will double click on this one. And as you can see that now the brackets are appeared here. And this means that this is asking for the address of the element which we are going to use in this move command. Right now we are planning to use this array element. So we will write here three. As you can see that as I press the enter, it has selected our first element okay for the second we will use again a move command and we can move like 56 okay now we will move this 56 into this data element which is the last one and it is at the eighth position so we will go here right here test select our array and just write in the address of this element which is it okay now it has selected it and we will go to the simulator and as you can see that right now actual values are zero so we will activate our bit m0.0 .0, and it has moved the values into these elements of array so our first variable is having the value 5 and the last one is having the value 56 so this is how we can use array elements or variables so this is the end of our today's tutorial and i hope you like it Please subscribe to my channel and till next video take care and goodbye.